is a feature of alpine singing. Warble, yodel, chirp, chant, yodel. It's the right answer, you got 300 quid. <laughs> okay, question number four, for 500 pounds, you have got three lifeline series. In which county is the new forest? Hampshire, Northumberland, Norfolk, Lincolnshire. Hampshire. It's the right answer, you look worried for a second. <laughs> no problem, 500 pounds. Have a look, this is question number five. What type of creature is the Warner Brothers cartoon character Sylvester? Cat, dog, rabbit, pig. He's a cat. It's a cat, it's the right answer, you've got 1,000 pounds, well done. Thank you. You feel a lot better now, don't you? Yes. Go home with my head out now. Yep, you can. <laughs> Right, question number six for £2,000. You've still got all those lifelines. You are ten away from a million. This is number six of a possible 15. Which of these is a Cajun dish of rice with chicken and ham? Jacaranda, jambalaya, jalopy, jumble. It's jambalaya, Chris. Final answer? Yep, final answer. Why are you so confident? You've eaten it? Yes. It was good? Yeah, very nice indeed. <laughs> it is. It's the right answer. You've got £2,000. <laughs> Question number seven is for £4,000. you are nine away from a million. So far, you've had no problem at all. Uh, as you said, such easy <laughs> questions. Uh, you've got £2,000. This is number seven of a possible 15. So far, you haven't touched any of your lifelines. Here it is. Which sport was featured in the 1989 film Field of Dreams? Do you know this one? Yes, I do. You can tell me what you think. Baseball. Okay. Hope it comes up. American football. Basketball. Volleyball. Baseball. <laughs> Wait till last. <laughs> sure it's baseball, not American football? Baseball, Chris. Final yes. answer? Final answer. Who was in it then? Kevin Costner. The right answer, it was Kevin Costner, you got four thousand pounds. Uh, you've got all three lifelines. You lose three thousand here, obviously, if you played it and gave me a wrong answer, but this is question number eight. If you give me the right answer, you double your money. Here it is. Sinbad the Sailor appears in which collection of stories? Grimm's fairy tales. Aesop's fables. Arabian Nights, Just So Stories. Sinbad the Sailor appears in which collection of stories? Grimm's Fairy Tales, Aesop's Fables, Arabian Nights, Just So Stories. You've got £4,000, it's about 8000 It's Arabian Nights, Chris. Not the Just So Stories? No. Have you read them? No. Want to read them? No. Not really? <laughs> no, not at all. Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer, you got 8,000 pounds. <laughs> Mark, you can't see it from here, but your mum Vi is getting in a bit of a state. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's a terrible state, aren't they? Right, you've got 8,000 pounds. This is question number nine. It's worth 16,000 pounds. You have got three lifelines. Take a look at it. Calligraphy is the art of doing what? Calligraphy is the art of doing what? Handwriting. Tying knots, map making, porcelain painting. It's handwriting, Chris. Why do you say that? Because I used to do it when well, I was handwriting. At... Yeah. <laughs> it, I did uh, cartography and calligraphy when I was at college. So a bit tied in together, yeah. Final answer. Final answer. Yeah. It's so the right answer. You got sixteen thousand pounds. <laughs> Right, you're six away from a million. You've got £16,000 at the moment. You've got all three lifelines. OK, question number 10 for 32000 Here it is. In which US city was Elvis Presley born? Toledo. Tupelo. Topeka. 
in Tucson. It's worth 32,000 pounds. You've got three lifelines. Mm. I think I'll get the Ask the Audience question out of the way first. <laughs> How do you mean, Mark? Say what you think. <laughs> yeah, can I just remind you, one of the audience is your mother, Mark. Ha! OK, this is the question, audience. It's for £32,000, your chance to redeem yourselves, audience. Now, come on. In which US city was Elvis Presley born? A, B, C or D? All vote now. Twenty percent are saying Toledo, twenty-four percent are saying uh, Tupelo, eleven percent are saying Topeka, forty-five percent say Tucson. Um, you lose fifteen thousand if, yeah. if they're wrong. If you go with their answer, the majority of them. I'm thinking of Tucson, but I'm still not a hundred percent, and I'm not really a hundred percent with the audience either. You got a fifty-fifty there. Uh, you could reduce the odds. Uh, you can phone a friend. I'll phone a friend, please, Chris. OK, who should we phone? Uh, Tom. Tom? OK. Please. Phone Tom, where's Tom? Uh, Carmarthen in South Wales. OK, now do you want me to tell Tom how much money's involved? Uh, yeah, yeah, go on. You won't mind, OK, no pressure on it, all right. Yeah. Sometimes it helps uh, focus the mind at the other <laughs> end of the phone, actually, to know how serious the phone call is. OK. Hello. Tom? Yeah. Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. How are you? Hiya. Uh, I've got Mark Starkey. He's doing fine. He's on £16,000 at the moment. Very nice. Very, very nice. nice. But even nicer, if you can give him the right answer, Tom, we can get him up to £32,000. Very good. Very good. Now, next voice here will be Mark's. Yes. Uh, he'll tell you the question. There are still four possible answers to it. One of them is the right answer. It's worth £32,000. OK, Tom. Thank you. Hope you can help him. OK, Mark, lots of luck. Your time starts now. Oh, Tom. Hello. In which US city was Elvis Presley born? Toledo, Topello, Topeka, or Tucson? Oh, I'm sorry, Mark. I don't know. OK, Tom, I'm that's sorry. no problem. Okay. No problem, thanks. Good. ta -da. Bye. Mwah. You know about that one of those one questions you said that just sort of creep up on you? Yep. It's there. That's what they uh, call the pig. It comes out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, yes. You don't have to play this. You could use 50-50 and still take £16,000. You said you wanted yep. eight. You've got 16 at the moment. You would lose 15000 if you yep. gave me a wrong answer. I'll take the 50-50, please, Chris. OK, computer, take away two wrong answers. Leave Mark the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Ah. <laughs> Tucson is gone, which doesn't help you at all, actually. It means no. that... Uh, well, 24% uh, say Tupelo is the right answer. 11% uh, say Topeka is the right answer. You've got 16,000. You can risk it for 32. One of those would be worth 32,000 pounds, but if you're wrong, you lose 15. I'll uh, go for Topelo. It's your call. Yes. Yep. Topelo. Final answer. Final answer, Chris. One of those is worth £16,000. One will cost you £15,000. We'll take a break. Join us again in a couple of minutes for the next part of tonight. Who wants to be a millionaire? the fourth and final part of tonight's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? It's been a nightmare, frankly. Um, <laughs> on the last question, the majority of this audience, 45% of them, thought that Elvis Presley was born in the American city of Tucson. Mark Starkey used a 50-50 just to double-check this audience. Mum Vi's in the audience. Mum, which one did you vote for? The wrong one. <laughs> you mean the Tucson one? OK, just testing. Eventually, he was stuck with Tupelo, uh, 24%, uh, Topeka, just 11%, having used up his 50-50. Um, Mark Starkey decided to go with a small majority of this audience. Knowing if you were wrong, you'd lose £15,000. You didn't lose. It's the right answer. Oh. You're a brave man, Mark Starkey.
Oh, but they're not clapping you. They're just clapping themselves out of sheer relief. <laughs> That's all it is. Oh, Mark Starkey, thankfully, um, somehow, I tell you what, that was a brave old decision. There was also the hint of insanity about it, yes. but you went with a slim majority of uh, the remainder of this audience. 45% were wrong, including your mum. <laughs> You've got £32,000. OK, good news, whatever happens tonight. Thanks to this fine audience, <laughs> some of them, you go home with 32,000 at least. Do you want to take it? You can hold it. No. Nope. No, nope. we look after it. Okay. No thanks. Okay, 32,000. That's yours. Feel Excellent. good? Excellent. Very good. Right, you got 32,000 pounds. Uh, have a look at number 11. You can't lose on this. It's for 64,000 pounds if you give me the right answer. Okay. In which country is Mount Kilimanjaro? You're looking at it with a little grin on your face, Mark. <laughs> Has it come up yet? No. Nope. Tanzania. Mozambique. Zambia. Zimbabwe. Now, I reckon by your expression, the one you thought doesn't yes, appear at all. <laughs> Which one did you think? I was thinking of Kenya. Yeah. Yes. I can tell you now, Kenya's wrong. Yes. in West Africa, South Africa, East Africa, West Africa, never in East Africa. <laughs> well, just take a guess at Tanzania, or Tanzania. Why Tanzania? Uh, it's just something, it's just a little niggling thought in the mind. I don't think it's Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Quite sure it's not. It's to me, it's Tanz Tanzania or, Z or Zambia, and it's a little niggling doubt there. And I, I think it's Tanzania. You can't lose on it. You might as well no, play. No, might as well play. Yes. Any choice? Final answer. Final answer. Tanzania. You just won sixty-four thousand pounds. <laughs> Tell you what would have been disastrous there if one of the other countries, one of the options was Kenya, Kenya wouldn't it? Because you would have gone for it. Tanzania, oh, yes. Kilimanjaro is in Tanzania, <laughs> uh, not Kenya, which is next door. Have a look at this one. You want to hold this one yet? Just, just like that, yeah. How's you doing, Mum? Very well. Very well. <laughs> You're doing very well, baby boy. Thank you. Sixty-four thousand pounds. Okay. We don't want to give you that. I don't want that. <laughs> you got sixty-four thousand pounds. Um, have a look at question number twelve. You've got no lifelines left, obviously, but this is for £125,000. Huge amount of money. You would drop £32,000 here if you gave me the wrong answer. Yeah. You don't have to play this, Mark. You can obviously walk away with that cheque for 64000 But have a look. See if you like the look of question number 12. It's for £125,000. Which English county is home to the Glyndebourne Festival Opera? Surrey. East Sussex. Kent. West Sussex. No clue. Not a clue. I'll take the money, Chris. <laughs> Don't want to think about it? No. Nope. Couldn't care less. <laughs> OK, give a big hand. Mark Starkey! <laughs> Thanks in part to this audience. Not a lot, just a bit. <laughs> Goes away with this check. There you are, Mark. Enjoy it. £64,000. I can tell you just before you go, and I know you couldn't care less, but I can tell you that actually the right West answer, Sussex. Glyndebourne, which one do you think? West Sussex. Would have been the wrong answer. Glyndebourne is actually in East Sussex. He goes away. £64,000 better off. Well played, well Don't miss a brand new TNA Impact Wrestling Sunday at 9, exclusively on Champions. Look <laughs> at